All right. Hello and welcome back so soon. So, I just got home from work. Um, and I have a package on my bed. So, I believe, I'm pretty sure the only, okay, so, this is the last package for myself. I don't exactly have any concrete plans to buy any more big things online, so I probably won't do any more of these for a good maybe month. It really depends. I honestly, once it hits the end of this month or next month coming, which is technically tomorrow, I will be going back to getting less money per se because I, I you know, I'm not getting into it. It's just life, but... I'm at that point now where I've really bought everything I really want, like, apart from maybe one replica belt, which I just can't seem to find a cheap one for, possibly another lightsaber, but really that's an if and a but, and uh, really at this point, when it comes to Transformers or wrestling figurines, I buy if there's a new one that interests me, and so far, it's not that there haven't been any that interest me, there just haven't been any new ones, so kind of have nothing to go there so getting it out the way I have this now I believe this is from the same thing as where I got my I want to possibly the United States Championship now I feel like this as far as you know the actual belt this is definitely gonna look cheaper so I don't need this once again but, an old watch of mine that still beeps. Um, it does feel weightful, however, for the belt type that it is, I, it does, it's not as heavy as I thought it would. For a, again, this is a, probably from, I'm pretty sure the way they do this belt, like with most eBay, is they, someone makes it from Pakistan and sends it down. But, like I said, I've explained in the first video, yeah, it's sad, but I just, I want the belts as a cheaper alternative. I don't care if they're not 100% accurate. It's just the whole thing of, if I wanted to fork into buying the expensive stuff, it would take longer to get through, and it would cost a lot more. And I'm happy my first replica, my first technical belt was an NXT commemorative, which again, cheaper, and still from the store, but... I'm content and happy with everything else I've gotten. So, yeah, again, that's how you can tell it's from um, them. It's a wrapper and another wrapper. So, oh yeah, so as I was explaining, for myself personally, nothing new. However, I did buy a base slit version of Darth Maul's lightsaber for my brother, which will be in two weeks' time. He might do a video for it and upload it to his channel. No idea, I'll let him do how he wants to, but either way, that's the last thing I've bought, because he's been wanting a lightsaber for a long time, and he is a huge fan of Darth Maul's lightsaber, so I had to do it. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so this is definitely going to be flat compared to the, you can see the plates and stuff on the actual tile, they pop out more. This isn't the case, but it still looks gorgeous. So, oh, I'm going to need this. Without further ado. Again, I need it. That's something I need to look into. Getting a new knife for unboxing, because this one is just shit. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Oh. First layer of bubble wrap, now the second layer, yeah. So it's just a flat plate, but again, I bought this, it's what I'm getting. Now there's a reason I'm glad I got it from this guy. Now, right off the bat, without further ado, I have, if you couldn't tell from the hint of colour, we have the blue universal championship now i picked blue for two reasons number one 
as much as I, you know, most would like, no stone, not many people like the Universal. I didn't mind it as far as, you know, a different title. I thought it looked a bit better because I just think the plain black, you know, the heavyweight one just, it feels like it's always looked plain, whereas red, it just felt different. However, I liked blue for two reasons. Number one, out of the two, it's my favorite. However, also, the, it was introduced through Bray Wyatt, who was my favorite Universal Champion. Now, again, right off the bat, it's flat as, it's, it's flat as, it's like a couple, you know, maybe two millimeters wide. So it's flat. However, the gemstones and stuff on it are the things that stand out because they actually pop out. They make it look like it's popping out. Now, obviously, again, you could tell it's a styrofoamy. So it's a styrofoamy type material going onto the side plates. You can't remove them. They're just flat, again, as you can see. But like that right there, you can see it's flat but the gemstones pop out, so that's the good thing. And another reason is, with the way, yes, it's still, it's just stuck on, but it fits the whole thing, and it says WWE on it. Now, I'm going to bring out the uh, United States Championship, just to give a little reference. I just need to make some room. I have a lot of shit on my stuff. Alright, um, so yeah, this was from the same guy, and as you can tell, the similar design for the strap, again, it was very, you know, uh, whatchamacallit, it's very styrofoamy. it's very, despite being metal, it's flat, again, just like this one, however, I want to compare for a bit. Oh no, they're about the same size. I thought it might have been different. So, they still cut the strap out good. Like, I still think it looks gorgeous. Obviously, one thing I could see right off the bat is this ugly looking thing on the top here. It really makes the belt look weird. But, again, this cost me... So, I bought this belt because... It was the cheapest I could get at the time, and I wanted something to compare for my Australian one when it came in. So, this was 183. I'm not 83, 185. This one cost me 180 because it was from the same guy on uh, eBay, and I could tell because he has this particular background when he showed off the belts, and it was the same background as this. So, I'm going to, again, put it away. I'm just collecting. Right. So, yeah. Again, cheap looking, but I have the Universal Championship now. And another thing I love, too, is it's not cushioned, but it's curved. So, I'm going to remove the phone and place it on a better spot. And let's just see how it looks on the waist. See, right here, that's my setup. Hey. Just a cheap little phone thing. I took the mic thing out of it because I felt like it was just not making my sound loud enough. Okay, so that's this isn't a good lighting spot. Maybe here. There's no good lighting spots in this room. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm just going to have to hold it here. This is the only good spot. So, let's put this thing around my waist. Now, the snap box looks pretty cool still. Alright. Um, I'm a little thicker around the belly, but not as thick as I used to be, so... There we go. Again, snap box is easy to put in. Feels nice and smooth. All right. Here we are. The Universal Championship. 
looks amazing. I am happy. I'm still happy. Still a great looking title in my opinion. No good lighting. I'm sorry. Here we go. Now, say what you will. You know, again, it is a cheap, you know, belt. But I did choose to buy this for a reason. You could, if you want something closer to it, get the ones from the WWE shop. They're more costly, but they're what you want. But, until then, I am the new Universal Champion. Now, another thing I should note too is you can tell um, this leather is not completely stuck to the plate. Like, it is stuck in most of the joints. But you can tell, like, I could lift it up on some angles and you just see the leather lifting off it. But, here it is. Now, I do have plans, possibly, if I were to get one more replica... How, do, how does Roman Reigns hold it? He does the whole thing where he puts it on his back like that, doesn't he? So, yeah, here we go. Now, the last replica I could ever see myself getting is the Intercontinental Championship. The white-strapped one. So if I can find a cheap one in the future, that'll be my next purchase. Until then, that's really all the belts I plan to get myself. Unless I'm able to find two, two cheap tag championships for me and my brother, but otherwise I haven't been able to find cheap ones. That's why I haven't got them. Lightsabers, I'll find a character I like and their saber for it. So for me, that would be... Um, Star Killer. If I could find a base lit for the Star Killer one, I will probably get that. That would be my next one. As far as then, I don't really have an idea or thought of what I want to get next. So, for a good while, I'm going to be in that stage where I feel like I've bought everything I needed to. So, if things come up, I'll buy them. But they're going to happen less and less, which means I'm going to upload videos like this less and less. So, without wasting any more time, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think of this gorgeous thing, and I will see you in the next one, whenever that is.